Life is simpler on Senator Jim McClendon's 120-acre Springville farm. So he feels is the gambling appeal in his St. Clair County district. The people that contact me say, I sure wish I could buy a lottery ticket without driving to Georgia. Last week, McClendon was one of 19 senators who voted for a comprehensive gambling bill, which came up to vote short. In addition to a lottery, Senator Del Marsh's failed legislation also offered sports betting in at least half a dozen casinos, including one here at the Birmingham Racecourse. A plan McLennan feels might have been too complex for some senators to support. It may have just been more than uh, legislators could digest. So moments after Marsh's bill died, McClendon introduced a gambling bill of his own. More simplified legislation he hopes more senators can stomach. It doesn't mention the Porch Creek Indians. It doesn't mention Victory Land. It doesn't mention Charity Bingo. It doesn't mention casinos. All it talks about is a lottery. Experts believe an Alabama lottery could produce up to $300 million a year. McClendon's plan would cut that 50-50 between the education and general fund budgets. So I'm splitting the money right down the middle. Half to education, half to all these other services that we provide in Alabama. Debate on the straight lottery bill begins Wednesday. In Springville, John Papke, WVTM 13.